Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours. All right, we're jumping straight into it with the tarot for Virgo. Spirit, what's going on with Virgo for May 20th to the 21st for my Virgos? May 20th to the 21st for my Virgos. Last shuffle. May 20th to the 21st for my Virgo. Whoa, 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 no. No. Card almost fell. Oh, you know what card tried to fall? Seven of Swords. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see who's trying you. Let's, let's just see. All right, what's happening with my Virgos? So we got the Six of Swords. You're letting whatever this is go. Could be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The overall energy is the star card, Aquarius. So you're moving forward. You're letting something go, and you're choosing your healing. Yep, Queen of Wands. Oh, Virgo, you shysty. Okay, you feisty. I see you. Taking on that fiery energy. Whether you're male, female, however you identify, the Queen of Wands is a feminine energy who attracts everything. <laughs> like, she's very fiery. She's very outgoing. She's very just, ooh, she speaks her mind. I love her. I love this energy for you. And we have the Four of Wands. Lots of fiery energy. You could be dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be a Leo, Virgo, cusp, you know, or just have it somewhere. These cats are standing out to me. Like someone here could have a gray fluffy cat or bunny or something like that as a pet or a teddy bear, whatever. But, hmm, some of you could be moving homes, building a home, creating a business, building a business. It's something about you forging forward, letting go, literally moving and creating your own strong foundation or business or something. Then we have the King of Swords. Like I said, dealing with an air sign. Or you can have air strongly in your chart. King of Swords. And then we have the Chariot, Cancer. So, <laughs> someone, it, someone's coming towards you. All right? Someone is clearly coming towards you. Could be a Cancer or an Aquarius. They could literally be coming to your house. And then we have the Eight of Swords. So there is a Cancer somewhere or an Aquarius or Fire Sign who is all up in their head about you. Or a, a Cancer is, or someone could have it in their chart, but someone is all up in their head about you. I mean, with the Eight of Swords, that's analysis paralysis. Just overthinking to the point where you feel trapped and you're really not. Like, look at this person. Their arms aren't even tied. They got ropes around their eyes that they can clearly cut free. They literally have the swords through the ropes. They could easily just lift their arms up and take the blindfold off and see things for what they are. And again, the star card is the overall energy. So you're letting go. You're moving forward. You're forging forward. You have the star card. You're choosing your own healing. You're moving forward rapidly with success. And again, the king of swords can also be you cutting through bullshit, not letting nobody waste your time. You're taking action and making money moves. Okay. <laughs> I'm just seeing and feeling great things for you, Virgo. If anyone's wondering about this painting, I've done that. That's me. But anyway, <laughs> um, you're doing great. But there's someone who's coming towards you because they can't stop thinking about you. I mean, and it's clearly an air sign. Strong Aquarius or Cancer for some of you could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's clarify this and see what's really good for the next 48 hours. Clarify this message for my Virgos, please, spirit. Whoa, come on, chill. Queen of Swords wanted to pop out. I just caught that card. Let me show you before I shuffle. Queen of Swords. So you about to match this person. This person is going to try to come to you with the whatever they're trying to do. And you're going to match that energy. And I like it. I love it. All right. Last shuffle. So whatever they're trying to come to you with, you're going to match that energy. All right, clarifying a six of swords is the Emperor Aries and the Page of Cups. So I'm getting you have a, a protective parental figure around you because in a six of swords, it looks like this little boy's father is carrying them away. And then we have the Emperor right here with like a, a weapon protecting 
this child, also the page of cups. So someone's trying to protect you from this love offer or someone doesn't want you to get a new love offer. There, this could be the king of swords here, this air sign or cancer or fire sign, whatever sign, Aries. There's someone here who's trying to stop someone from giving you, because you have the page of cups. I'm seeing it as a new beginning, a new person, a new love offer, a pleasant surprise. Someone's trying to safeguard that. Somebody's trying to cock block. <laughs> Or someone's trying to like stop someone else from getting to you so they can give you they don't want they don't want to let you go pretty much clarifying the queen of wands is the seven of pentacles and the high priest is pisces so you're making a long-term investment again you could be the emperor you could have your own business or you could be dealing with an aries someone who owns their own business and they want to offer you something you could be around a high priestess. Someone wants to invest in you and move forward with you. Someone can't get you out of their mind. I feel like it's two people here. Someone from your past and someone else coming in. And the person from your past is trying to block this. Yeah, see, look, eight of wands clarifying the four of wands. Someone's going to reach out eight of pentacles. You're working on yourself here because you've been working on yourself and you're getting results in, in your business as well. Like financially, you're making long term moves. You're not just making those sporadic uh, little bits here and there. This is something long term, lucrative, a strong foundation with the four of wands. This is something that is going to grow for many years. Some, some, um, what is it? I don't know if it's passive income, but whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. This ain't something small time. This is long term. You're building it from the ground up on your own. And someone likes that you've been doing this and they see your results and they want to offer you something. Someone's going to message you. Clarifying the king of swords is the two of wands. Yeah, they're trying to, they're debating back and forth. And the world card. Ooh, okay. So I feel that you're going to close the cycle. On. This is someone you close the cycle on, but they want to come back. This is someone you clearly close the cycle on and they want to come back. Clarifying the cherry is the strength card, Leo. And then the king of pentacles. You got a lot of people here. Okay, so virgo you've been working on yourself working on your business building your finances or working on getting a home built or something creating some type of strong foundation for yourself and then there you got a protective energy around you it could be like um a literal guardian in real life or like in the spiritual realm someone's safeguarding you watching over you i also feel like there's a higher up an emperor type of energy who sees what you're doing and they want to offer you something and then there's someone from your past that you clearly close the cycle on or this person trying to close the cycle on you and let this go but i feel that they're still debating on contacting you with the two of wands i feel like they may be you know they're looking and searching elsewhere or you're looking and searching elsewhere and you close the cycle on this person yeah that's what i'm saying you're looking and searching elsewhere and you close the cycle on whoever this person from your past is Yeah, you're moving forward with the King of Pentacles clarifying the cherry and the strength card. You gathered all your strength to move forward in victory and success with whatever this endeavor is. You could have been, again, literally moving homes or changing businesses or starting your own business. But you're going to be successful in it. And then there's someone who's going to reach out because they see what you're doing. And they want to invest in you. I feel like this is somebody new. Whoever this emperor is, is either safeguarding you, protecting you, or wanting to take you somewhere else. But there's also someone from your past or just someone who wants to block this as well. Clarifying the Eight of Swords is the Nine of Cups and the, the Queen of Wands again. So someone here, it could be a fire sign who wants you to be confused and feel trapped and stuck and not see things. It's someone's wish fulfillment for you to be stuck. And then overall energy is the four of pentacles. 
yeah withhold from the past with the six of cups because there's some truth here you got the ace of swords and the ace of cups and then the tower so the truth and then the death card and the seven of cups yeah someone here wants you to be confused it could be uh this aries because they're blocking you from letting go or moving out they want to keep you like a child or something or they don't want you to get this love offer. There's someone here, definitely a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a, an Aquarius who doesn't want you to grow up. I don't care how old you are. They don't want you to be able to be on your own. They don't want you to go off and because you're, you're succeeding at whatever this is you do. And this person, a lot of people see you moving forward and doing well. I mean, you turn into the king of pentacles. And you move forward with the chariot and the strength card. Whatever this is, it's already yours. You're going to make a lot of money from whatever this is or create something, a strong foundation for yourself. But there's someone here who wants you to be confused. You're going to receive some messages from, some, from one person that wants you to be confused. I feel like there's someone who's trying to let you go now because they're realizing that they can't confuse you. But there's definitely a fire sign, strong Aries, who's trying to stop you. But you're going to get some good news here. Like all of your hard work is going to pay off. With the four of wands here, clarified by the eight of wands, you're going to get some messages about either if you've been trying to build a home or buy a home or move or create your own business or some type of, or applying for jobs, whatever this strong foundation is with the four of wands, you're going to get good news about it because you've been putting in the work and you're about to receive that back with the eight of pentacles and the eight of wands. And it's going to allow you to look elsewhere and close a cycle. And there's someone who's trying to stop this. But you're going to get that offer anyway and you're going to leave. But there, there's someone in your energy, strong fire sign or air sign who wants to stop you. All right. Oh, that is your next 48. Virgo, if it resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.